Hello my dear students, welcome to the MS Science Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the orbital structure of a benzene. In this structure, we have to discuss about the hybridization, the uh, overlapping structures and the pi cloud formation also we will discuss, we will conclude in this uh, topic. Now, what is the orbital structure of a benzene as in the spectroscopic as with the help of spectroscopic analysis and the x-ray analysis we have earlier known that the carbon that the benzene has the hexagonal planar molecule all the carbon of the benzene arranged in a single plane okay in a single plane they are arranging but the hybridization which occur in the benzene that is the sp2 hybridization so in this the orbital picture we, we should discuss about the hybridization what is the hybridization hybridization is just the intermixing of the orbitals and by intermixing the orbitals new orbitals are formed here in the carbon 1s and 2p orbitals are mixing and they form the three new sp2 hybridized orbitals okay so how it will become now we will discuss the carbon has the ground state in the ground state the carbon has 1s2 and 2s2 1s2 2s2 and 2p orbitals 1s2 2p2 and sorry 1s2 2s2 and 2px1 2pxy 2py2 okay but as the carbon has the excited state i'm not drawing the 1s2 because in the hybridization the 1s2 has played no role but in the excited state that 2s2 orbital will jump on the 2pz orbital so that 2s orbital has only the one orbit one electron remaining so here 2s1 2px1 2py1 and 2pz1 okay so here the carbon here the 2s1 and 2px and 2py1 three orbitals will just intermixing and they will form the three new sp2 hybridized orbitals okay three new sp2 hybridized orbitals and these sp2 hybridized orbitals i will show you here like this like this they are forming and just like three sp2 hybridized orbitals will form okay three sp2 hybridized orbitals will form and okay so like this three sp2 hybridized orbitals will form now these sp2 hybrid uh, one sp2 uh, hybridized orbital will connect with the 1s of the hydrogen atom and remaining two sp2 hybridized carbon uh, sp2 hybridized orbital of the carbon they are coaxially overlapping let's see how it take place okay here i am just uh, removing this just take the screenshot now here what will happen here the carbon as we have discussed the carbon has the 3 sp2 hybridized orbital in his excited state so one sp2 hybridized orbital will coaxially uh, coaxially hybridized with the 1s of the hydrogen but remaining two sp2 hybridized orbitals they are coaxially overlapping okay so here uh is my car pen here okay so here one sp2 hybridized orbital i am just showing this is the one sp2 hybridized this is a two and this is a third one for each carbon we have to draw the three sp2 hybridized orbitals okay so here like this you will draw okay it's very good it, it, it has the it has very much good impact on the external okay so here now the hydrogen as the hydrogen has only the single electron 
so the single orbital of the hydrogen that is the one s it will hybridize or coaxially just overlap with the sp2 hybridized of the carbon okay and it will form the sigma bond the sigma bond and that second sp2 hybridized with the just neighborhood carbon and the second third hybridized sp2 hybridized orbital make the sigma bond with the neighborhood either this side and this side okay so here this is also the sigma bond this is the sigma bond sigma bond sigma bond and sigma bond okay so here the six sigma bonds are formed with the carbon like this this is this is the sigma bond and here the hydrogen also i am drawing this is the sigma bond sigma bond sigma this is also sigma all the single bonds have the sigma bond and this is the same so total here the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 means the 6 carbon 6 carbon having the sigma bond and 6 carbon hydrogen having the 6 carbon carbon having the sigma bond 6 carbon hydrogen having the sigma bond so total 12 sigma bonds in the uh, if I am not drawing uh, just you will complete it okay so 12 sigma bonds are present in the structure of benzene but here the one also having the pi bond three pi bonds are present three pi bonds are present so here the remaining 2pz orbital which is having which is having the one electron only so this 2pz orbital of the each carbon is overlapping with the neighborhood carbon okay so here if i am drawing this like this if i am drawing like this this 2pz orbitals i am drawing okay this 2pz orbitals i am drawing i am drawing little bit tilted because otherwise it was very hard for me to draw like this okay so here the 2pz orbitals 6 2pz orbitals which are having single electron so this 2pz orbitals is overlapping with the neighborhood carbon with the neighborhood carbon so here what happens so like this overlapping the pi bond will form okay so this overlapping may be either with this side or maybe either with this side either it's a clockwise or either it's the anti-clockwise because if you are drawing the benzene structure like this you can draw the pi bonds like this or you can draw the pi bond like this means the 2pz if i if i am drawing the 2pz orbitals okay if i am drawing the 2pz orbital like this the 2pz orbitals can overlap like this the 2pz orbitals can overlap like this or the 2pz orbitals can overlap the 2pz orbitals can overlap like this okay so here the how the sigma bond will form the sigma bond will bond will form by the uh, coaxially overlapping coaxially overlapping of the sp2 sp2 hybridized carbon neighborhood carbons and another sigma bond is formed with the sp2 hybridizes carbon of one uh, sp2 hybridized carbon of hydrogen uh, sp2 hybridized at uh, hybridized orbital and one s orbital of the hydrogen again i am repeating i am just concluding the orbital structure of benzene the as the 
as in the spectroscopic analysis and the x-ray analysis we have concluded that the benzene has the planar structure all the carbons of the benzene have uh, uh, just arranged in a single plane okay and the carbon atom of the uh, benzene has the sp2 hybridization in the sp2 hybridization what will happen the in the car excited state the carbon has the 1s and the 2 orbitals so 1s and 2 orbitals of each carbon will hybridize and will form the 3 sp2 hybridized orbitals so 1 sp2 hybridized orbital will mix with 1 sp2 hybridized orbital will mix with one side carbon of the sp2 hybridized and one and the second sp2 hybridized orbital will mix with the second sp2 hybridized orbital of the other another side and the remaining sp2 hybridized orbital is just overlapping with the 1s orbital of the hydrogen and form the sigma bond and here what will happen about the pi bond the remaining one orbital that is the 2pz that overlapping just coaxially that overlapping is known as the coaxially overlapping that overlapping is known as the coaxially overlapping and co uh, no sorry it's a lateral overlapping sorry it's a lateral overlapping by lateral overlapping they are formed the pi bond okay as this is the pi uh, suppose that this is a 2pz orbital this is the 2pz orbitals of the beside carbon and they are just overlapping and by overlapping they are forming the pi bond now we will draw that pi bond cloud that this is the carbon at benzene ring and if you want to draw, draw the pi cloud like this the upper cloud not up, uh, means the upper side the upper side cloud and now downside cloud like this you can form okay this is the downside cloud okay so here the pi orbital formed with the help of 2pz orbital and the sigma bond is formed with the sp2 sp2 overlapping and the sp2 oneness orbital overlapping of the hydrogen okay like this you will conclude your orbital picture of the benzene here one thing also is there what is the bond angle the bond angle is that here the bond angle one thing also uh, i just uh, forgot to explain the bond angle is that the bond angle is that 120 degree again i am just drawing this the bond angle is 120 degree the bond angle of the sp2 hybridized orbitals if i i will draw again it Okay, so here again the bond angle is that 120 degree. The bond angle is that 120 degree. Okay, so in the sp2 hybridization the bond angle is that 120 degree. Okay, so here in the sp2 hybridization the bond angle is the 120 degree and the sp2 sp2 hybridization the bond uh, uh, in the sp2 sp2 hybridization 1s and the 2p orbitals are just hybridized okay so this is whole for your lecture and i hope you have enjoyed my lecture any doubt kindly ask in the comment section otherwise please like share and subscribe thank you